Isaac Day Bowling of Spokane. Uh, when you look at the, the sort of long, strange path you have had to get here, is there a message to that uh, determination, persistence? What, what do you make when you look at that experience? Um, I say all glory to God. Uh, I don't think I'm here without him. And uh, it's a story of perseverance and never giving up. So that's how I look at it. Go ahead. Uh, Greg Woods, spokesman review. Miles, uh, it's been six or seven games since you made a three last. I'm wondering if you've been able to pick up on any like trends or you're hesitating or anything like that, and how do you kind of get that turned around? Uh, nah. I just got to trust my craft and trust the work that I put in because the same threes I was making in the beginning of the year, mid of the year, and versus these last six games, nothing's really changed. Uh, so if you're making shots, you got to trust your craft, and if you're missing shots, you got to trust, trust your craft. My teammates believe in me. My coaches believe in me. Washington State fans, they believe in me. They tell me to shoot all the time. So uh, it's only going to be a matter of time before one drops, and I believe that the first one I hit is going to be a big one when we need it. And, you know, like I said, my teammates, they have trust in me, so I'm going to keep shooting. Jamie Vinnick, kookfan.com. Uh, Andre, first off, how's the shoulder feeling? It's better. Uh, definitely the couple of days off helped help a lot. Uh, I think I'll be, you know, ready to go tomorrow. You know, for you in particular, you've been here all four years, uh, had a couple seasons the last two where you guys maybe got close but not quite there. Has there been kind of a moment where it's felt a little bit surreal that you're finally at the tournament and you finally did get here after the two NITs? Yeah, but I think we, we made all the necessary steps, um, you know, to make it to NCAA tournament. You know, like my in my last two years, we made it to NIT uh, twice, and then we made it to Final Four of NIT. So, you know, this was the year that, you know, it's supposed to be a special year for us, and we are ready to, you know, to, to make it even more special. So, yeah. Yes, on the aisle. Miles, now that you're on the bigger stage, more people are learning about your personal story. Uh, can you take a moment to reflect on the journey that you've had from cancer treatments now playing in the NCAA tournament? Uh, yes, it's just a blessing, you know. All glory to God. You know, he doesn't put us in situations that, you know, we can't handle. And like I said, I'm just grateful to be here and to be playing alongside these teammates, for this coaching staff, for these fans, and being able to not just be a basketball player, but you know, be a uh, have my testimony be an impact in some people's lives that I may not even know, and just continue to inspire each and everybody that you know that knows about my story, and in the years to come, for people to find out about my story. So at the end of the day, it's just a blessing, and I'm just super grateful to be here. Uh, for any of you guys, what more have you guys picked up on, on Drake and what's the uh, scout on them right now? Let's go with Isaac and then Andre on that question. Thank you. Uh, very talented team. Uh, offensive juggernauts are pretty good. They have uh, great players. Uh, they play as a team and they get good shots. So we just got to limit their shots, limit threes, uh, no second chance points, and uh, uh, out-compete them. Yeah, I think we got to stop their best, you know, score best player. So... Um, you know, we got to play as a team, play good defense, and make make him, you know, score hard on us. And that's it. Right here in front, Miles. Greg just asked about the uh, the three point shooting. Does it kind of feel like for you that one one when one finally does go down, it's going to kind of open the floodgates and you'll get back to kind of shooting the way we saw you shoot earlier in the year? Oh, 100 uh, percent. Once I see one go in, it's, it's over with. Like I said. My teammates, they believe in me. They see me work on it before practice, every after practice, every day. So it's not like, you know, I'm just not working on it. But like I said, their confidence helps me. My coaching staff, you know, they believe in me. They tell me to take the right threes and when to take them. And they have the utmost belief in me. So, And I have the utmost belief in myself as well. So, uh, like I said, it's just all about trusting your craft. So when I see one go in, it's, it's going to let the floodgates for many more to come. Yep, stay here. Thank you. For, well, Isaac, I know you're not big on shooting threes in games, so I'll ask Andre about this. When you've had droughts before, like Miles is in right now, like how do you, what kind of mindset do you kind of, uh, you're kind of take into that, and how do you kind of break out of that? Just like Miles said, you know, you just have to keep doing what you're doing. You know, like just get in the gym, get 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 shots up. You know, work on your craft, and you know you can make every shot. You know, like uh, if you see the one go go goes in, you're gonna keep you know shooting and. That's it. Just be confident in yourself. That, that's the that's the main thing. Anything else for the Cougars of Washington State? Yes. 
right here on the aisle. I want to ask Miles' teammates, what has it been like to watch him kind of go through that journey, and uh, what have you guys learned or think other people can learn from hearing his story probably for the first time now that you guys are on this stage? Isaac, you're first, please. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. Um, it gives you hope. I mean, as you said, God wouldn't put, put you through something you can't handle, and he's a testament to that. His whole life's a testimony, and I'm uh, just blessed to be his teammate, and there's nobody else I would want by my side in this situation. So, yeah. I would say it's special because, you know, we've been together for three years and just to see him go through uh, every treatment with, with a smile on his face, uh, it just like makes you makes you appreciate even more what you're doing. So um, it's special and, you know, he, he has a you know special story for him and we're going to keep supporting him and make it even more special. That's it. Andre, I know you uh, touched on the shoulder, but are you? Do you feel like yourself out there? Or like, how is that kind of limiting you, uh, if at all, when you're playing? Uh, I just have to play through it. Uh, you know, like I had a different tape job every game, so we're just trying to find the, the most comfortable um, tape job, and you know, just get the shoulder ready to 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 move. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna have pain, but um, it's I'm trying to. Just don't focus on that and just play the game the right way, um, and that's it.